It's a beehive of activity at Nakasero Market. There are all sorts of delicious foods to choose from. This is one of Kampala's oldest and busiest agricultural markets. While previously it was only supplied by local farms, the growing demand for non-traditional fruits like these ones has forced traders to look beyond Ugandan farmers. The market attracts a range of buyers from different backgrounds. Some of them are foreign nationals who are often not familiar with traditional Ugandan fruits. Our local things, people, they don't like them so much. And in Nakasilo, you know, people are coming, many they are Chinese, Indians, not like Ugandans, they are not many. They come few. Yeah, that's why. And Chinese, they don't eat green oranges, green, they don't like those things. They like these ones, which they have in their country. The market has adjusted to the changing demand, but traders say local farmers have not adapted. Traders now import mangoes, apples, grapes, strawberries and lemon from countries like Kenya, South Africa and Egypt. There has not been enough effort by our agricultural research teams to develop quality fruits that are needed by the growing Ugandan market. Our local fruits are good, but still of low quality. Statistics from Uganda's Revenue Authority show the value of fruit imports increased from $2.6 million in 2010 to more than $6.5 million US dollars in 2016. But some farmers say they aren't growing what the traders want because there is limited information to guide them on market requirements. When I went to farming, I didn't have all that knowledge. You know, I was trying it for the first time because somebody had posted um, a post on the internet talking of how profitable passion fruits, for example, can be. And then if you go into farming, you don't, know the, you, don't, you don't have all that knowledge. So after you grow all your fruits and they're ready, then you start looking for market. Agricultural experts, however, say that until more Ugandan farmers shift production to tap into the widening market, imports will continue to play a big role in meeting the growing demand. Michael Baleke, CGTN, Kampala, Uganda.